Hi everybody and welcome to Riggs Garage. Today we're going to look at the 1970 Mustang Fastback. It's been a busy few weeks. I haven't got a whole lot done. Um, there are some progress to show you, so I'm going to walk you through the progress out in the sunlight so we're not in the dark garage, usually past the bedtime of the kids, so it's usually dark and, and gloomy in there. Uh, the sun's out, the gold is gleaming on the car, and uh, I think you'll like it. There's progress to show and I'll tell you future plans here and show you the brand new wheels. So stick around to the end of the video and I will show off those wheels. I appreciate everybody watching. Check out Riggs Garage on Instagram at Riggs Garage and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you. Here's the car. Sorry for all the air conditioning noises. Welcome to summer. We'll do a quick walk around here. Let's see what's going on. Everything looks really good in the sun, doesn't it? If you're new to the project, uh, this is a 289 block, 302 heads, Wii end intake, and some other cool goodies. Um, it's a pretty basic small block, not going to make a ton of power, but it should be a great driver. Everything's put together up front here, I got the power steering hooked up, charging systems hooked up. Starting system's hooked up. I'm diagnosing some issue. I haven't really had time to dig into it. Might be a ground for all I know. Um, well, that was not a success, was it? Why is this making all this noise? We got a red negative cable and a red positive cable. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, here's the engine. It's ready to receive a carburetor and an ignition system now. I uh, just need to bolt the headers up. I even have an oil pressure gauge hooked up and a temperature gauge, so we're in good shape there. trunk full of parts is ever increasing. Uh, I found the source of the oil on the floor. I thought it was rear end leaking out, but it's just this, uh, this oil. Soaking the trunk with oil. Now it'll never rust. Beautiful. This guy just came in the mail. This is a Champion Radiator, just a two row, but uh, it's beautifully TIG welded, aluminum, and uh, should keep this thing cool. I think I'm going to use a Lincoln Mark 8 or a Ford Taurus fan on it uh, to keep it super cool. You know, the whole goal of this car is, is a quality budget build, and I felt the cooling system deserves a little bit of investment uh, to keep this rolling really reliably. So. It's going to be done right. Now if you followed me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these wheels, but I felt I would reveal them uh, to the YouTube channel. So I've got tires mounted on two of the new wheels, and let's have a look at them. Excited to show you. So I did one side at a time right now. I'm funding the other side, but Here's what we're looking at. These are Scott Drake HB45s, and they are 15 by sevens, four and a quarter backspace. So I went ahead and got brand new tires on the car. On some of my other builds, I've got used tires, but it's not worth hunting down, and nobody had these sizes. And again, this car is gonna be a driver. I wanna drive it, and I don't wanna worry about stupid stuff like old tires. So there's that wheel. The rear tire is a 275-6015. These are Cooper Cobras. Good mid-range tire. And then on the front, I have two 35-6015s. With the backspacing that I have on these 275s, I don't know if I could go much bigger. Um, they do clear everything pretty well and I don't foresee any rubbing. It's 
definitely a nice fat tire. It's nice to see the car at ride height again. Um, I'm gonna do the Shelby drop and probably put a, a lowering spring and a, a ball joint angle shim uh, to make it proper, probably two inch lower out front. Just to go for that 70s road race look with the gold wheels. And speaking of the wheels, there are there is a knockoff center cap that can you can get for these. That's the three prong. And um, I chose these wheels because they look like the old magnesium 60s and 70s magnesium road race wheels, what you'd see on like a Shelby Cobra. So these are reminiscent of that. I kept with 15 inch wheels because I believe a person should use uh, 70s wheel sizes on a 70s car. I don't think these cars look that good with huge wheels. So that's an opinion of mine. And then here in the next few weeks, I'll get the tires for the other side. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned. This engine's gonna run really soon. It's gonna get brakes and a new fuel tank and it's gonna be ready for the road. I'm excited to share it with you. Keep watching, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.